Hello everyone, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this class is all about the deduction of f equals to ma from the Newton's second law. So I, I hope that you already know about this very well known and renowned principle f is equal to ma. So how this thing derives from the Newton's second law of motion, this class is all about this. So let a body Suppose let a body or something is moving in this direction with the initial velocity u and through the time being it arrives here with the final velocity v. How? Because a constant force is applied throughout the time t and hence it's coming like if I think that the mass of the body is m so if a body with an initial velocity u and a constant force is acting on the body then what will happen it will move from here to there so this is the initial velocity and this will be the final velocity for the time being so if I say that the initial initial momentum i hope you know about what is momentum as you know that momentum is the cross product of mass and velocity as it is the initial so it will be the mass times the initial velocity and if i say that final momentum then i must be multiplied with the v so if i say that how I can find f equals to ma. We need to know that a constant force is applied throughout the time t. So the change of velocity depending on the time with the force. That how many seconds and how many time the force was acting to the body. And this will change the increase and also increase the velocity. So if I said this is mu and mv then what are the changes the change the changes of momentum so we can say this is the change of momentum in time t that would be mv minus mu because we always did that the final velocity the initial velocity from the final velocity so if i say that in the time t was the internal time then the rate of change we can say the rate of change is mv minus mu over t and if this is true then we can say that m we can take as common v minus u over t and from the definition of acceleration we know that a is equal to v minus u over t as equals acceleration is the change of velocity over time so here we can have the same thing v minus u over t and we can say this is m a so this is actually what this is actually the rate of change of momentum and so as you know that this is very similar type of word that we heard in Newton's second law. Second law of motion is what? The rate of change of motion is proportional to the force applied on it. So we can say that this MA, this MA is truly proportional to the applied force. So that the amount of changes, the rate of changes in momentum in this body is totally depend on this force. As we know from the second law of Newton, we know the rate of change of momentum is totally proportional to the applied forces. So here F and this means these quantities is depending on this quantity. So if this is the proportionate sign means this change of momentum is depending on f so in physics we know that if we need to make it an equation 
we need to put it a constant so this m a is actually k f so here k is the constant so here this k is the constant constant of what actually the the quantity of k depending on the unit of f how we can measure it if we can say that if we think this m is all about 1 kg and this acceleration is 1 meter per second square and then if this f is 1 meter then what will be the value of k the value of k would be 1 and how we can say that this k is equal to 1 will apply here because I said already that k is the constant of the relations that m a equal to k f it means that the amount the the quantity of k depending on the unit of force so as we know the unit of force is Newton if it is 1 1 and 1 then this k would be 1 and if this k would be 1 then we can say from this equation that f is equal to m a and this is the equation we found from the Newton's second law this f is equal to m a so if I say that the Newton of force I mean the unit of force is Newton is equal to m the unit of m is kg and unit of a is meter per second square so we can say the Newton is equal to I mean the force is equal to the cross production of mass and acceleration and hence we can have the unit of force is also Newton equals to kg cross meter per second square and if we just make it quantify that if if I can say that what is the definition of 10 Newton then we can say yes if it is 1 kg times 10 meter per second square it means if the question is what is the meaning of 10 Newton that the amount of force that is applied to 1 kg mass and it produces 10 meter per second square acceleration then this is 10 Newton or even it can have the idea of the definition that 2 kg times 5 meter per second square or even it can be 10 kg times 1 meter per second square so we can say the definition of 10 Newton in multiple way like we can say the amount of force that is applied on 10 kg mass body and produce 1 meter per second square acceleration then the amount of force is 10 Newton that is also right and even we can say the amount of force that is applied to 2 kg mass body and that produce 5 meter per second square then the force is 10 Newton that is also right so this is clear and if we need to know the dimension of force that is important in case of understanding the dimension of force we know this is the cross multiplication of m and a we know that this is actually mass into acceleration and what is the definition of acceleration the rate of change of velocity this is acceleration so to understand the dimension dimension we need to know this is mass and we know the dimension of mass is capital M and cross A that's acceleration this dimension is L T inverse 2 so hence the dimension of force is M L T inverse 2 so this is the very short explanation of the direct deduction of f equals to ma from newton's second law so we know we, we need to think that let a body is moving with initial velocity and final velocity and the mass is m and if a constant force acting on that body for the time being t then the change of momentum in that time would be this and the rate would be like that and we got ma and very simply 
we already know the rate of change of momentum is totally proportional to the applied force of the body. So the amount of force that applied on that body that totally it depended on this amount of rate of change. So from here we can have the constant k and we know that the amount of k is depending on the unit of force we know that f equals to ma. And then we know the multi, uh, dimension of force is mlt inverse 2 and the definition of 10 newton. If it is 100 newton, then we can say, uh, if it is 100 newton, then we can say a lot of way like 1 kg mass times 100 meter per second square or even 100 kg mass times 1 meter per second square. So both are correct or even 50 kg times 2 meter per second square is also correct. So we can define the amount of force through this way. So there is some very simple explanation and from next class we will be doing some mathematics and physics. So see you on the next class. Stay well, stay happy. Take care.